Shanqiti, rahmahullah, this is the older Shanqiti, the author of Adwa al-Bayan, because there's many Shanqitis out there and many ulama of them. Uh, he was my father's teacher, a man that I, I was a kid when my father was in Medina at that time, and uh, he was a man I, I wish I laid my eyes on, a, a giant in ilm. Uh, th there's hundreds of ulama that are attributed to Shanqit, but if you say Ash-Shanqiti among the learned people of knowledge today, it refers to this man. My father used to have uh, re uh, recorded the tafsir of him that were approximately 50 years old, that he kept close to him under his bed until they were confiscated uh, approximately tw 12 years ago by the FBI, where he, they were, I remember, I used to listen to some of them where they were tafsir of Surat Tawbah. Among this giants, students are Ibn Baz, Ibn Uthaymeen, Abdurrahman al-Barraq is a student, Hamoud al-Uqla is one of his students, uh, Bakr Abu Zaid is one of his students, Atiyah Salam rahmatullah alayhi majma'in is one of his students, actually Atiyah Salam is I think, I believe is one, his number one student because he never departed this side, he found him, he met him, never left him till his last moments. And he was my teacher and my father's teacher, Atiyah Salam. Shanqiti wrote three tafsirs of the Quran. The final one and the most thorough one was an amazing tafsir where he did tafsir of the Quran by the Quran. He wrote it in seven volumes. And when he got to Surat Al-Mujadala, verse number 22, Rahmatullah alayhi died. His student, Atiyah Salam, who was my father's teacher and my teacher, someone I was very close to, uh, he, uh, uh, finished the Quran, he finished the tafsir. And then they sent it out to print it, and it's now called Aqwa al-Bayan. My father informed me one time that they asked the Shanqiti, Rahmatullah alayhi, why is it you put so much emphasis on tafsir? He gave a great portion of his life to tafsir, even though he was a great knowledgeable person in usul. He was very knowledgeable in fiqh. He was very knowledgeable in Aqidah and he has booklets on that. He was a master in many of the Islamic sciences, even in Arabic language and grammar. And the answer was, he said, not a single opinion of the opinions of Salaf on any verse in the Quran except I know. He's not bolstering, he's confined in, in his students. Ulama, brilliant ulama. My father told me he heard that. And of course I trusted my, I love my father and I believe him. May Allah grant him a long life full of deeds. When I returned to Medina alone to study in the Islamic University, I was in the company of Sheikh Atiyah Salim. And one of the times I asked him, I said, did you hear what my father told me? Did you hear it? Sheikh Atiyah said, I remember the day your father asked it and the setting we were in and the surrounding of that day. Giants, not an opinion of the Salaf on any matter except he knows it. Now we have little cads and rascals running around portraying themselves to be imams of Mufassirin, Mufassirin, selling the verses of Allah and the hadith for a little price to please the enemies of Allah and the enemies of mankind.